The superglides and generally glass feet have gotten quite a lot of hype, but my experience with the superglides has been a bit of a roller coaster. I've had them on my GPX for about three to four months and on my EC2C for about two months. Now I finally feel that I have a very good grasp of what they are good for, and does it make sense to get them over PTFE feet? There will be sort of two parts on the video explaining my experience with these feet during the whole timeline that I use them for. But hey, before we start, do you happen to struggle with FPS when you have a lot of tabs open in your browser? If you do, check out this ad rate right here. This video is sponsored by Opera GX and it's a web browser that's basically made for gamers. Get this feature packed browser for free with the link in the description. With GX control, you can limit how much resources the browser uses, for example using network limiter, RAM limiter or CPU limiter. And of course, the more tabs you have open, the more benefits you get out of the RAM and the CPU limiter. I ran this little CSGO benchmark test run with the Opera GX and 20 tabs open, I got about 60 to 70 more FPS with the Opera GX than Firefox, so that's very good for sure. And this is 60 to 70 more average FPS. There are also plenty of platforms integrated to the browser itself, for example here is Twitter, Discord, and Twitch of course if you want to watch mine or somebody else's streams through this. They also have the GX player that you can use to log into Spotify, Apple Music or YouTube Music and directly listen to music from your browser. And lastly, Opera GX is also available for your mobile phone through the mobile app. It also has great customization options and it can be connected to the desktop version as well. Alright, back to the video itself and when I initially got the super clients on my GPX, they felt very uncontrollable. This clip is sped up and you can clearly see that the GPX is untouched on my desk and it's still moving. Meaning that there is absolutely no static friction whatsoever on these gates, which kind of makes these gates more of a meme than a thing that should be used in a competitive shooter. It was very hard to even double click files on the file explorer, I would accidentally just try and move them a little bit instead of double clicking. I can tell you that I've never been that close to raging by just using my computer on desktop. The feet also make basically all mouse pads feel extremely smooth, it doesn't matter if you are using a rough pad like the Artisan High End or a smooth pad like the Vaxi PA. Basically they just ruin the diversity of different kinds of pads for me because I just enjoy using different kinds of surfaces. I myself hate this but there is a positive aspect to it also. Something like the Logitech G640 can feel very very muddy when it's worn down with PTFE feet, but once you actually use it with glass feet, it does feel actually surprisingly good. So these feet can sort of save some mouse pads that are worn down and feel quite muddy with PTFE feet. Overall the glide and the experience with glass feet is quite unique and hard to explain, so let me try to demonstrate in game because I don't think this is such a simple subject, although we are talking about just mouse feet. So when I mean that there is almost zero static friction, I mean zero static friction. So for example, double, double clicking on the same position can be pretty hard with glass feet, especially if the mouse one button is hard to actuate. The smoothness of the feet also make it so that there is no feedback whatsoever when moving your mouse, even on this super nice Agile Cables desk pad that is slightly rough. With PTFE feet, I have way more feedback when I'm moving my mouse so I can sort of feel the surface and that makes it easier for me to hit my flick shots and know how much I need to move my mouse to make that headshot, you know. Other than that, there is really not many downsides on the glass feet and you can of course get used to the fact that there is, uh, they are super smooth and hit your shots. You just need to know how much you need to move your mouse to make that headshot and that's gonna be nice. You might have noticed sometimes that when you use PTFV feet and you use a lot of force to press down mouse one button, it's harder to move your mouse. That is of course because the friction increases with PTFE feet and it doesn't really do that with glass feet. So I can press down my mouse button quite a lot and it still feels like I'm just lightly holding it. This can make the glass feet feel surprisingly consistent but I wouldn't really say that's consistency that you're feeling, you're just feeling that lack of friction. But once I actually realized what's happening and why I do like it, I kinda just understood that with PTFE feet, I do not need to press that much force on my mouse that click the mouse button. So I'm just more lightly holding it than it is not that beautiful at the moment, but it's basically the same result which means that I still have more feedback, I'm not getting that massive friction from it and I can still spray just fine. And sometimes I may even want more friction, so I'm just using a lot of more force to press down the mouse one button. 
Otherwise, I do not have anything against glass feet, but I just feel that playing CS or even Apex or tracking heavy games, I do not get any benefits from using this, so why would I get rid of that feedback and that little friction that can help me in some certain situations for just no benefit at all? I mean, they really do look cool, but I really do not care about that. So when I just move my mouse with PTFE feet, I can feel more of that feedback and it's sort of easier for me to know how much I need to move for a certain kind of headshot. And I think that's the key. Let's actually make a quick competition. So I will kill 100 bots with glass feet and then with PTFE feet. I will do it as fast as possible. So let's see which mouse I do get the better time with. Let's start with glass feet. Well, let's start again. In Finnish, I would like to say Läpi menee vitti. But I'm not gonna say that. Oh my god, it doesn't help that I've only used the EC2 for the last two weeks and now I'm using GPX for some reason. By the way, whether you're using the amazing EC2C or any other mouse, remember to click that subscribe button. So one minute didn't go quite well, but uh, yeah, let's see how it goes with PTFE feet. <sighs> so the class feet won the competition, so I guess you should forget everything I just said. PTFE feet suck. Seriously though, this does not mean anything and PTFE feet are better in my opinion. I decided to take out my GPX and my custom EC2C with glass feet and try them with the Vaxi PB. And to my surprise, the feet felt surprisingly slow on the PB. It's weird in the sense that there is still very little to no static friction, but there is this consistent friction once you get the mouse moving. I thought it would be just the PB reacting weirdly with the glass feet, so I took out my Artisan Zero and the Vaxi PA, and surprise surprise, they also felt way way slower than previously. Same exact thing, little to no static friction, but there is this consistent friction once once you get the mouse moving. Comparing this experience to PTFE for example, the PTFE with the GPX have more static friction, so it's harder to get the mouse moving, but once the mouse actually moves, you don't get this consistent friction kind of feel. I've seen people commenting that they have had issues with the super glides wearing down in about 3 or 4 weeks, but it took me way longer than that. And people have described it as being muddy, but I wouldn't call it muddy myself. It's just a more of a controlled kind of experience. And it can't be really compared to the initial feeling that I had with Super Glides or to any kind of feeling that I have with PTFE feet. What's also very weird is that I've had these GPX glass gates for about 4 months or something and the EC2C glass gates for 2 months. So I decided to put a fresh set of Super Glides to my Vaxial today X. And compared to the Super Glide and the EC2C skates, these are much faster. There is even less static friction and they do not have that consistent kinetic friction that I was talking about. So I can for sure state that the Super Glides do wear out, but the time does seem to be a variable. It took only about a month with my EC2C, but my Super Glide was used for at least 3 months before I saw any kind of wearing out. But for both of them it was like they all of a sudden felt slow. PTFE feet also of course wear down, but it's very gradual, so it's never been like one day they feel super fast and the next they feel slow. But whatever the case may be, whatever caused this and does it happen to all units, I actually prefer this feel over the initial super glide feel. Micro adjusting is still easy with the low static friction, but longer flicks are precise because of the added feedback I get from the friction that there is. Tracking also still feels very smooth because the friction that I feel is very consistent. Changing directions while tracking feels more controlled and overall it's a much better and more precise experience. What's also fun for me is that this feeling with the slightly worn out super glides can't be replicated with any mouse pad and mouse feet combo. If I want something close to the initial feeling of the super glides I could always go with the sky pad and PTFE feet and although the static friction wouldn't be as slow and the experience would not be as smooth I think it's close enough. And yes of course the sky pad 2.0 is a glass surface but I hope you get what I mean. 
So this is my experience with the Super Glides 4. Now I still think that I'm kind of forced to keep using these because I want to see what will happen in the next month or two. Will they wear down even more or do they stay like this? At this moment and the way they feel now, I'm super impressed. I can easily say that in this state they are very good even for Jack FPS. Let me know what you think about glass feet in the comment section. Have you had same kind of experience as I did? And do check out the EC2C review right here. It's a banger of a mouse and it can be very good for many of you if you just give it that two months time to get adjusted to it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button and see you in the next one.